Okay, we're gonna have a lesson and we are gonna have some fun. Today, reading expert Linda Farrell will be working with Iko, a second grader here at Windy Hill Elementary in Calvert County, Maryland. Ms. Farrell will help Iko with telling the difference between the letters B and D, keeping her eyes on the text rather than looking up to think of words, and reading words with short vowels. Do you ever get your B's and D's mixed up? Sometimes? Well, let's see if we can't fix that. Iko confuses B's and D's. She's in the second grade, and it's gonna get in the way of her reading. So we have to fix that problem, and lots of children confuse B's and D's. They look like, you know, it's a ball and a stick. So we know we have to straighten that out because that's gonna hurt your reading because there are lots of words with B's and D's. We're gonna work on fixing that. So we're gonna learn about our B hand. Have you ever used your B hand? They have a B hand. Their B hand, it looks like a B, here's the circle, here's the line. And we teach them to not guess and to slow down and compare your hand to the letter. This is your B hand, okay? So I'm gonna put this little rubber band on you so you can remember which one's your B hand. So which one's your B hand? This one. This one, okay. I don't tell a kindergartner, a first grader, or a second grader it's your left hand because they don't know which one's their left hand. Sometimes I don't even know which one's my left hand. Uh, when we first teach it, we put something on their hand. We might put a sticker. I put a rubber band on Iko's hand so that when I say, where's your B hand? She's got something that reminds her. Three, three lessons, she won't need the rubber band anymore. She'll know what it is. Some kids get it right away. Would you put your B hand up like this and make a fist and then put your finger out, okay? And that is your B hand. And I'm gonna show you why it's your B hand. Go like this. I'm gonna put this down here and this letter is a B. And your hand looks like this letter. Can you see that? We have the circle right here. Where's the circle on the letter? You point to the circle on the letter. And where's the circle on your hand? Yeah, right there. Where's the stick on the letter? Show me the stick on your finger. This is your B hand because the stick is on the same side of the circle as your finger. So your finger and, your st and the stick are on the same side of the circle. Lots of kids get B's and D's mixed up first kindergarten, first and second grade, does not mean that they have dyslexia. Students who have dyslexia have phonological processing issues. They do not differentiate sounds easily. They, they, there are, their problems are primarily related to phonological awareness. BD is about shapes. That is not about sounds. Will you put your B hand by the B? Yep. And is your finger on the same side of the circle as the stick or on a different side of the circle? Look the at me. The same side. The same side. Yeah. Let's go down here. Is this a B or a D? B. Okay. And when you answer, I want you to look down here and compare it. Here's what you did. You went well, you're not gonna figure it out unless you look and you compare. Okay, so you have to look and say, oh, I can tell. So is that a B or a D? Ms. Farrell's explicit lesson about mm -hmm. recognizing the shape you know of what? the letter B will take some time to sink in for Iko, and there's a common habit she'll need to deal with. When Iko is working on identifying a letter, she often looks up to think, looking away from the letter. The answer to what is an incorrect letter or an incorrect word is in the print. And we have to teach Iko to keep her eyes on the print, on the words when she's reading or the letters. Worked with many kids that have the same difficulty. And I'll say, keep your eyes on the words and they can't do it because their habit is so strong that they can't try to do what I'm asking them to do and remember to keep their eyes on, down. So we just practice keeping your eyes down. We're gonna practice looking down here, okay? So I'm gonna ask you a question and you can't look up until I go like this, okay? So you keep looking down, don't look up. Look down, look down, look down, look down. Now you can look up. Okay, let's try it again. Look down, look down, look down, look down. 
Eventually, Aiko will need to have images of words stored in her brain. This is critical to the immediate word recognition necessary for fluent reading. When students say a word without looking at it, they miss opportunities to develop those images. So hold your hand up here. Okay, so I'm going to go A, because I don't need my B hand. But do I need my B hand for that letter? Yes, I do, because that's a B or a D. So I have to put my B hand in. Let me see, is that a B or a D? Which one do you think? Oh, where are you going to look? Yes, okay, is that a B or a D? B. Let's try that. Put your B hand next to that. Okay, is your finger on the same or a different side? Different. Different. So is that a B or a D? D. Yes, and we're going to keep looking down. Remember, you don't get to look up until I stomp, okay? So now I want you, we're going to go just right to here, okay? So watch me. A, D. S, B. You do it. Okay, put your hand up here for the A. Okay, do a, it. A, D, S, B. Okay, now, see how far away your hand is? You gotta go like this. And you know where you looked when you read? You looked at me, but where are you supposed to be looking? Here. Yep, at the letter. So, okay, so we did those four. You do these four. And right this here. is isolated practice. I see lots of teachers who use a B and D hand or a B hand, but they only do it when the kid misses a word. So, oh, you read bog is dog. Use your B hand. You don't have to use your B hand. If it's not bog, it's dog. We've got to have isolated practice to rewire the brain, to stop guessing, and start looking. And that's what we did with Iko. Iko has pretty significant BD issues with this kind of practice. She could solve her BD issues, I believe, in three or four weeks if we did this every day. B. You got it. Do you think you can do 10 in a row? Mm -mm. I think you can. Let's try it. Okay. X. B. D. A. Your hand, your finger on the same side or a different side? Different, so, so it's a D. Yes, okay. O. B. C. D. J. Ten out of ten, that's too After a little more practice with B and D, okay. Miss Farrell will help Iko work on another skill, read. reading short vowel words without sounding them out aloud first. And Iko will need to lean on her new skills, distinguishing between B and D using her B hand and concentrating on looking down at the words while she thinks. Can you just read these words right here? Not, ran, tap, man, on. Could you read these words right here, please? Bib. Ad. Could you check and see if that's a B or a D? With use your B hand. Is that a B or a D? D. It is a D. So what's? D. Did. Okay. Add. L. What's the word? Look down. Always keep your eyes on the words. Gum. K kit. Hump. Okay, you got five words right. Can you touch and say that word? Hug. It is hug. Read them all again. Did add pal gum. It hug. Okay, now you got six out of six right. When you read this word, you went k it. Did you hear yourself do that? Okay, it's okay. I want you to do that in your head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close our mouth 
until we're ready to read the word. It goes like this. Did, add, I have to think those sounds in my head. So can you do that? Let's read these. Cut, dig, pop, mouth closed, lip, kit, locked. Okay, now, two things. You got five right. Can you, what's that word? Kip. It is kip. And the other thing is you looked up. So we're going to practice looking down. Okay, you're gonna look down, look down here until I stomp, okay? You can look up, okay? Let's do it again. Okay, now you're gonna read and you can't look up until I stomp, okay? So remember, you're not gonna look up till I stomp. So I'll hold this, okay? So start reading. Cut. Big. Pop. Lip. Lock. That was perfect. You kept your eyes down the whole time. Can you check and see if that's a B or a D? Use your hand. Use yeah. your B hand. Use your B hand. D yeah. So what's the word? Dig. It is. We're going to go over here. And again, don't look up until I stop. So read those. Hot. You can use your B hand right there. In one short lesson, Aiko has made a lot of progress. She's learning to keep her head down as she reads, focusing on the letters. She's using her B hand to you help to her identify her Bs and up. Ds more accurately. And she's reading words as a whole rather than sound by sound. As she practices and works toward mastery of these skills, her reading will get better and better. Mud. You kept your eyes down and you got them all right. Six out of six? Yes! We'd like to thank the wonderful students and families at Windy Hill Elementary School in Calvert County, Maryland. We hope that sharing these experiences will help other children who are learning to read. Special thanks also to Kelly Cleland, Julie Donovan, Joanne Harbaugh, and their outstanding colleagues at Windy Hill Elementary, and to Leanne Meisinger at Calvert County Public Schools. We are deeply grateful to Linda Farrell, Michael Hunter, and Nicole Lubar of Readsters for their invaluable contributions to this project. For more information about teaching reading, please visit www.readingrockets.org.